Hello everyone, it's Marisol here. Um, I've been asked, um, I should tell a story on um, how Andrew and I met. Okay. So, but first of all, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. <laughs> all right. Okay. So, how did Andrew and I met? We met in online okay and it was around uh, i think late of 2003 that we met S uh, around december time i think we just met we in this like uh, cupid the site is cupid usa i don't think it's uh, already it's uh it's still there you know i don't think so i think it has bought it has been bought by Sip different companies because um before i came to the united states it was already um it was already long gone anyway yes we met there cupid usa um was i searching well i wasn't that side so i was searching but i had no profile because i think um when i made the yahoo messenger i think um it was one of those ads in there like the cupid usa so i just clicked in there and uh i got signed up and it was has no picture and all so and then all of a sudden andrew messaged me she wants to be in the blog too so so andrew messaged me and his words were hi would you like to have a friend from us <laughs> and so I was like yeah why not sure so <laughs> yeah your daddy that's why your daddy asked me and so but we were not really formal formal that time so we were just chatting and you know just being friends and hi hellos and wasn't very serious until maybe february of 2004 that we chatted more and more and then <laughs> she really wanted to to stand up and join you guys <laughs> and then um um what was our conversation about well, it was hard to, you know, sometimes right now, it was hard to make a conversation. Paulit-ulit na lang yung something na ganun, like, hi, hello, kumusta, what, what you doing, yung mga something na ganun. So, what we did was, I we, we, we found out that we were reading the same kind of book. It was uh, from um, 40 Days, 40 Days of uh, Rick Warren. And that's how we get our... Uh, that's how we you know we were able to talk more and talk about life and this is the tip guys if you are an online community an online dating find a book find something that you can talk about because sometimes it won't not all the time na mayroon kayong pag-uusapan um, there are times talaga na wala kayong pag-uusapan like there's nothing you can be talking about so maghanap kayo ng libro and you can talk about that libro or you can play games or you can um, mm, mga topic na ganun mga kasi for me really it was mahirap yung ano yung long distance kasi uh, mag kasi ako before like ganun lang ako eh. like hi hello anong ginagawa mo at tapos wala na like it was so mundane so the book really helped a lot and you make your own journal you make your own um uh there you go ano naman ito na, na yung itong video na ito it's it's supposed to be talking about how we met diba but okay yeah find something find something that you can talk about okay that's the that's the one thing that i can recommend if you are in a long-term relationship long-term a long-term long-distance relationship so and then so 
around February, we were talking about school. Kasi nasa school siya. I was 22 and he was 23. I was in school and uh, he was in school and we were talking about school and roommates and then uh you know what that he does on weekend and then ano, ano pa? So, yeah, so yeah yung lang. and then uh, he decided to come and visit me may of that year he was graduating college by then um so i was still in college because i i went to a postgraduate school um then but he he did not na cancel yung I mean, na cancel yung plan niya kasi he was graduating and it happened that uh, his his grandma died that year anyway so um no i no no he's but he said like okay when is your semestral break and semestral break natin diba is august august october so and that year he went and visit me and for just one week imagine mo one week lang and that's including his flight na ha. so mostly ano lang mga five days lang kami five days lang kami nagkita so ayun and then um he made it happen and we met on october of 2004 yes i met your daddy on October of 2004 uh, so one week but that was good enough all right the first meeting I know a feeling ng first meeting no first meeting namin and dami and dami kung ano dami kung what if uh, I don't like him what if he doesn't like me mga ganon ganon <laughs> and I never realized guys like once you keep talking to the person already online and you're already video chatting, you can already familiarize the person. Because I was outside the yung sa Cebu Mactan Airport. I was outside the glass, di ba? Di ba? But when he, when he, when he came out from that door or something opening to get to his baggage, I already saw him right away. Not because he was tall or something, but I already recognized the shape of his face. <laughs> So funny. Oh, that was so so cute. So um yeah and make sure the first meeting you for me lang I, just to make sure um have somebody like you don't wanna be you know there are be safe. Be safe guys if you're in long long distance relationship, just always be safe. If you're meeting somebody a stranger, um always have somebody with you first, okay? And then uh I was with my mom, with I think with my dad, with my uncle, with my aunt. There were like maybe like six people that went with me. <laughs> oh, so um, yeah, and then um, uh, I was with him. Then we took him to his hotel. Yeah, no, we did not. I did not stay with him in the hotel the first. Um, until and only until we get married, right? Uh, well, that's just because of me. That was just on him. That was just our our belief. Like you know, we, we just get to know each other first before we do in intimate. So um, yeah, and we were just dating that time. We were not really, you know. So yeah, and then we sp we dropped him off at his hotel. It was already like already one o'clock. And then every eight o'clock in the morning, I would, I would go to the hotel, take him out. We did not really spend uh, in the hotel. He just used the hotel for sleeping. That's all it is. And it was so busy because you know we, we only have five, five days, five days to see me. So we keep it busy. I took him around Cebu. I took him around uh, um, places. I took him around Cebu, like the whole Cebu. You know how you can. You can just do that driving. It's easy. And he, he really appreciate it. So, and then I have him tried some Filipino dish. Um, the, the food that he really liked, that he still liked right now. Uh, that he would want to eat again. Yung, ano, yung, 
lechon ng manok sa karkar ba yun? And it was very... Yes, yes. Hi. Mm -hmm. It was it was really tasty for him. And we just bought it on the side of the road. And then we eat by the plaza in there. All right? Mm -hmm. We had a very simple life with. Oh, yeah. We took your dad around Cebu. And... And before that, before meeting him, actually, um, Andrew already um, has met some of my 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 cousins in Canada even before meeting me. So I, that's when I know that he was really serious about me, right? So yeah, and then uh, he made an effort to know my family, nung ganon. So ayan. and then and then what happened? What happened? So, um, I, I pick him up at 8 o'clock. I drop him off at 8 p.m. <laughs> we have breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then I dropped him off. And then the next day again. So, um, that's what that was it. Right? And it was his first international flight. And I haven't been out in Philippines when, uh, when he met him. When I met him. So, and then when he left, he made a promise that I will be back gonna visit you again for one uh, that's next year so one whole year uh, we have to see each other again i said that it was so it was a long time wait but it just passed by so quickly so october again of 2005 we met again yeah and this time your daddy stayed longer yeah and it was again and i drop him off and i pick him up drop him off and pick him up yeah yeah and then we visited other places, other other islands. We even go to Apari because that's where. All right, kapit. That's where. Um, we know some some of friends in there from his church here, and um, we know some friends that are from there that are inviting us. So we went there. We went there. We went to Apari, and it was a nice one. And so, yeah, that's how I met. So my advice for you guys, if you are looking for somebody or somebody and if, you know, long distance relationship, um, yeah, if serious about it, there's a lot of people that are looking and there's also a lot of people that are um, um, you know, just half and half, not really looking and not really serious. So, yeah, I mean you can always detect kung naglalay ang tao sa uh, sa online like you know eh, dili siya consistent sa iya hang gipanulti dili siya consistent sa iya hang you know sa kuani mo so you will always hear um mananakay instinct ba nga ay kani di man siya serious so and there are times na you know na lagi tao nga dili sa para sa imo sa online maybe but it just happened to me. Um, he, he, I prayed for him too. Like, a, a God, give me a guy that this. And be specific with your prayers, guys. Because God listens. And I always believe that. He will listen. And he is my answer to my prayers. Yes, your dad is answer to my prayers. And he's... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yep. And that's, I think that's it for now. I will, <laughs> I will do more of, uh, you know, getting to know us more uh, videos later. <laughs> okay, bye.